So this is Algebra 2. We are in uh, Topic 13. And uh, I have a problem I want to solve. I've got $5,000, and it's been invested at 2.7%, but it's compounded continuously. Um, how long will it take to reach uh, $12,500? So let me set this up. So $12,500 is equal to $5,000. And it's continuous compounding, so I'm going to use that PERT formula, e to the power of the rate. 0 0.027 times the time. I don't know the time. That's what I'm looking for. So T. All right. So I need to solve this. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what T is. So what I'm going to do is divide both sides by 5,000, first thing. And remember, the, the situation was we're going to start with $5,000. How long to grow to 12,500? So if I go uh, 12,500, divide that by 1,000. <laughs> I'm sorry, by 5,000. I get 2.5. What I want you to notice is this 2.5, that's how many times larger it is. That's like the multiplier for how long, it, how much it's grown. So now what we're figuring out is how long does it take this E, this whole thing here, to become a 2.5 so that it's 5,000 times 2.5. So the, unway, the way that we undo E to that is natural log. So natural log of 2.5 would be equal to 0 0.027 times t. Divide by both sides by that 0 0.027. And now I have natural log of 2.5 divided by 0 0.027. I'm going to do this on this calculator. So uh, natural log, there it is, of 2.5. And notice I close off those parentheses. Divided by, uh, it was 0 0.027. So about 34 years, it looks like, 33.9. So I think that I can say, <clears throat> he's about 40. So about 40 years. Boop, there it is.